Hi, I have learned release 10 version of AutoCAD in 1992. As I have mentioned in the previous video, this particular version was a revolutionary version because so many new features were introduced in the release 10 version of AutoCAD. Dialog box versions of so many commands were introduced, AutoLisp interface is further enhanced and uh, the major enhancement was introduction of 3D module in the software. Till then, we could create drawings only in two dimension. Creating any object that you can visualize in three dimension using various commands and generating instant engineering views such as elevations, isometrics, obliques and perspective views was unimaginable till then. And this particular feature was the major enhancement of release 10. In connection with this, I would like to share with you an interesting experience. There is a command called hide, even now we use that command. And that command is used to actually transform a wireframe model to a surface model. In a wireframe model, the object will appear as if it is made up of wires. But once you give hide command, it will become a surface model which is more realistic. I'll explain this with a simple illustration. And let's take this particular 3D model of a residence. When we give hide command in this 3D model, we used to get result after 3 to 4 hours. That means the appearance of a surface model we used to get after such a long wait. But in the current version, let's see the difference. I'll give HI for hide. In one second, you have got the result. So that is a kind of a drastic change that has taken place in the software in terms of performance. This is basically because of the change in the coding of the software. The company has compacted the coding, they have changed it. So the performance of the software is enhanced much more and there has been parallelly an increase in the hardware configuration in terms of the processor speed and memory etc. With that, let's move on to the second part of introduction to interface of AutoCAD basic videos. Before we move on, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel SabirCAD if you haven't subscribed already and press the bell icon to get instant updates on my future video uploads. So let's continue. Thank you so much. Let's continue with understanding the interface. In this tutorial, you will learn title bar, A360 cloud storage, drawing window, command line, model space and paper space, status bar toggles and procedure to open a new file. This area is called the title bar because it's indicate the title of your drawing file along with the version name of AutoCAD. Over here, you can key in any command or phrase and you will get complete help from the online help system of the software. For example, if I give trim and enter, you will get complete information related with the trim command. And over here, I have already logged into my user account in A360 Cloud Storage. And if you want, you can register your user account in a360.autodesk.com and you can get a free account from the site. You can also install AutoCAD mobile app from Play Store and App Store respectively. When you click on this button, you can install apps that will work in AutoCAD software. When you click on this button, you can stay connected with Autodesk community to exchange information. When you click over here, you will get access to the complete help system in AutoCAD in a systematic manner. And these three controls are native controls in any Windows application which can be used to minimize, maximize and close AutoCAD software. And you can see the same controls here and it's meant for the current drawing file. This black area which you see over here is called the drawing window. And this is where you actually create drawings and 3D models. And this icon over here is called the view cube which can be used to view a 3D model from various angles. And this vertical icon over here is called the navigation bar which can be used to perform basic navigations such as pan, zoom, orbit etc. For example, I'll create a circle using the center radius method. I'll click to define the center and drag to specify the radius. If I click on the pan icon and pan the view, I'll be moving the screen along with the circle. And if I click on the zoom extends icon, I'll be getting the maximum possible available magnification. 
The same activity can also be performed using the scroll wheel of a three button mouse. If you move the mouse holding the scroll wheel, you can perform panning. You can perform a zoom extends by double tapping the scroll wheel. The left button of the mouse can be used to perform selections as well as to give user inputs. The right button of the mouse gives context sensitive menu. If you keep the cursor on the drawing area and right click, you will get this particular menu. If I right click here, I'll get a different menu. Over here, it's again a different menu. So depending upon where you keep the cursor and right click, I'll get a corresponding menu. By rolling the scroll wheel of the mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out. If the object has gone outside the screen, you can bring it within the screen either by using the zoom extends option in the navigation bar or by double tapping the scroll wheel of the mouse. This icon over here is called the user coordinate system icon or UCS icon which indicate the direction of X and Y axis. This area over here is called the command line. You can close it by clicking on this cross and click on yes. You can get the command line back by holding the control key and press the 9 key simultaneously. At the upper left corner, you can see in canvas controls. You can see a hyphen over here which is called viewport controls and this can be used to subdivide your screen into subscreens. Over here, we have predefined views. When you click on each view, you will get the corresponding view of a 3D object. And this particular menu will give you options to change the visual style of a 3D object. So these options are generally used in three dimension. At the bottom left corner, we have model tab and layout tabs. In AutoCAD, we basically work in two screens. One is called model space, another one is called paper space. Paper space is also called layout. When you click on the layout tab, you will see a virtual sheet of paper. Layout is used to plot a drawing in different paper sizes and scales. When you take the cursor to the file tab, you will see the same options appearing. So I'll click on model to go back to the model space. When you click on the view menu, you will see options to toggle the display of various icons in the AutoCAD screen. When you click on UCS icon, the display of UCS icon is suppressed. By clicking on the view cube, the display of view cube can be suppressed. Similarly, the display of layout and file tab can also be controlled. Over here, we have set of items called status bar toggles. Each item can be in the on state or in the off state. When an item is on, it is displayed in blue color. And if it is off, it is displayed in gray color. Each item can have its own menu when you right click on it. For example, when you right click over here, you will get this menu. But when you right click on this particular item, you will get a different menu. You can add and remove items as per your requirement. For that, you have to click on the customization button at the lower right corner. Now you can see number of items over here. If you want quick properties, for example, you can just click on that and you will see that appearing at the status bar toggle area. If you want, you can uncheck that item to remove it from the status bar toggle area. Now we have covered all elements in the AutoCAD interface. Let's open a new drawing file and work on it. In AutoCAD, there are different methods to open a new drawing file. As we have discussed before, you can click on the application button New Drawing File option or you can click on the new item at the quick access toolbar. You will see a number of templates in the select template dialog box. ACAD.ISO is the default template. Click on open to open a new drawing file or else you can click on the plus sign at the file tab to open a new drawing file which is the easiest method. If you do not give any file name, AutoCAD names the file as Drawing1, Drawing2, Drawing3 etc. If you press Ctrl S for the first time, it will ask you for a file name. I will give my first since this being my first drawing file and I will click on save. In this tutorial, we have learned title bar, A360 cloud storage, drawing window, command line, model space and paper space, status bar toggles and procedure to open a new drawing file. In the next tutorial video, we will see the concepts of units and limits. I have formed a WhatsApp group with the name Sabir CAD. Please click on the link provided at the comment box to join that group. You can ask your genuine queries related with AutoCAD in that group and you can get your doubts cleared.